The question, what is the best method for keeping a to-do list? Having a to-do list means you don't need to try to remember everything, keeping it in your head. Picture a shaken snow globe, all of those little flakes flying around. That's what it's like in your head when you try to remember everything you need to do without writing it down. So, most importantly, you need a to-do list to get everything out of your head. The other advantage of a good to-do list is that you can prioritize each item so you know which items are most important. Whether you choose old-fashioned paper and pencil or something that is digital is a matter of personal preference. The advantages of paper. The act of writing helps you to remember. It feels great to cross something off the list. The disadvantages of paper. You have to constantly rewrite. It's hard to view by priority. It can be lost. The advantages of digital. Easy to sort, easy to save and sync across devices, doesn't need rewriting. The disadvantages of digital, it sometimes takes a little longer to input, versus paper. It's not paper. Personally, I prefer to use an app. I recently did some research online searching articles and videos. The top two apps appear to be two, Doist and Wonderlist. They are both available for desktop and mobile and can be accessed in the cloud as well. Everything syncs across devices. I chose to go with two. Doist because one of the reviewers felt it was slightly more business oriented and Wanderlist was more family oriented. I've been using it for a year and love it. I upgraded, for about $30 per year, to the premium version and now it syncs with my calendar and allows me to make comments on a task. There are other premium features but I don't use them all. The interface is super easy to use and they have karma points which are just a fun way to feel like you are being rewarded for getting your work done. For more productivity tips, please visit my blog. I hope that helps. Sharon